Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New York City, Western, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8th, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. 11 out of 10 people did not understand how I invented the precursor to the modern supercomputer. It was not I, Philip M. Aguale, that first reported my invention of the massively parallel processing supercomputer that computes faster than any vector processing supercomputer. My experimental discovery of how to parallel process an initial boundary value problem of calculus and physics called extreme scale computational, extreme, extreme scale petroleum reservoir simulation occurred on the 4th of July, 1989. That experimental discovery of massively parallel processing was first reported by the Computer Society of the IEEE. The IEEE is the acronym for the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. The contributions to computational mathematics that arose from my experimental discovery of the parallel processing supercomputer was reported in the May 1990 issue of the Siam News. The Siam News is written by research mathematicians for research mathematicians. The Siam News is the flagship publication of SIAM, the acronym for the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. However, my new mathematical knowledge that the SIAM News described as my mathematical contributions to computational mathematics was how the SIAM News understood my mathematical discovery of nine new partial differential equations of modern calculus and understood my mathematical invention of the companion nine new partial difference equations of extreme scale algebra that approximated my nine new partial differential equations. What the Siam News understood as my contributions to computational mathematics was not how I understood my invention. A discovery is like the moon that has two parts, the visible part and the hidden part. In 1989, the news media was reporting the concrete and the visible part of my experimental discovery of the massively parallel processing supercomputer and was ignoring the abstract and the invincible part of that discovery that occurred on the 4th of July, 1989. Back in 1977, I worked in the civil engineering field of highway construction. I did so for the state of Maryland and I helped expand portions of the federal highway between Baltimore, Maryland and Washington, D.C. Nine years later, I worked for the United States government. I worked as an engineering physicist that was responsible for updating nine standard operating procedures. I used each standard operating procedure to safely operate each dam, and I used 
the procedure to safely control the water, the water level of the reservoir that is upstream of the dam. And I used the procedure to operate the hydroelectric power plant within the dam. All the nine dams that I worked on we are located within the state of Wyoming. Wyoming is a state in the western region of the United States. Wyoming is defined by vast plains and by the Rocky Mountains. Wyoming is best known for epic cowboy and western movies and for its Yellowstone National Park. One of those nine dams that I operated was the imposing 214 feet high Pathfinder Dam. Pathfinder was an arch dam that was a triumph of early 20th century design. Water cascaded from the mid level outlet tunnel of the Pathfinder Dam. The Pathfinder Dam on the North Platte River of Arid, Wyoming is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The North Platte is a river that rises in the snow melt of the Colorado Rocky Mountains. The nine reservoirs in the state of Wyoming that I operated stored water that served the parched farmlands of Wyoming. Glendo Dam in the state of Wyoming is an earth fill dam that is 190 feet high. Glendo Dam has a crest length of 2,096 feet. As a practicing engineering physicist at the Glendo Dam, I visualized the total amount of water that I controlled as follows. I had 800,000 acre feet of water stored upstream of Glendo Dam. One acre foot of water covers an acre of land to a depth of one foot. The term SOP is the United States Bureau of Reclamation's acronym for its standard operating procedure. In my SOP for Glendo Dam, the water storage capacity and the water redistribution is divided as follows. 100,000 acre feet for farmland irrigation. 115,000 acre feet to control sediment deposition. 275,000 acre feet for controlling floods and avoiding dam break. And 310,000 acre feet for producing hydroelectric power. Those engineering experiences aside, I was primarily a research engineer, not a practicing engineer. The difference is this. The practicing engineer likes to solve problems that are considered solvable, while the research engineer attempts to solve the toughest problems that we are considered unsolvable. Insightful and brilliant lecture.